we should submit our hearts, our minds, our bodies, everything to the commandments of our Creator. And our Creator, when He created us, He didn't create us without a purpose. He didn't leave us neglected on the face of this earth just to go about walking, foraging, eating, propagating like animals. Our Creator, out of His mercy for us, sent us guidance and sent us messengers. To every nation, our Creator sent a messenger inviting their nations and their people to worship Him alone. When Allah created Adam and Eve, and He ordered them to worship Him and follow His commandments. Then after that, Allah sent Idris. Then after that, Allah sent Noah. The story of Noah and the great ark. Noah, all of these great prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Creator, sent from the beginning of time until the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu were all upon one way of life and all one religion. Which is what? Which is Al-Islam. Allah, He didn't create different faiths or different types of beliefs that He wanted His creatures, His human beings that He created and fashioned with His own hands to follow. He didn't want to confuse His creation. He sent them one message, which is easy and simple to understand. I created you. I know what's best for you. I'm going to send you commandments so that you can live your life accordingly and please me and be able to worship me correctly. And this is the books of Revelation that he sent to the messengers. And the final message that he sent to mankind was the Qur'an. Just how when you have, for example, a computer, right? You have Windows 5, or right? Windows, for, what did we use 20 years ago? What did they have? Uh, DOS, D-O-S, right? Yeah. Right? And then you had to upgrade it, right? Every five years or so, right? Now, what was it? Windows 7, Windows 2010, Windows 2013. Every so often you have to update and upgrade your computer. Similarly with what? With the message that the Creator sent to the creation. The message that the Creator sent to, the, to Moses thousands of years ago is not relevant to our time. So Allah, He sent messengers and messages after Him to make the message relevant to the people and their situation and circumstances in the time and places that they were living. And the final message, which is the complete and perfect and complementing message and abrogating message of all the previous messages is the last message that Allah sent to who? The Prophet Muhammad, which is the what? Which is the Qur'an and it, which is the emulation of the Qur'an which was in the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu lifetime. This is what we follow as Muslims. Who was the Prophet who was sent before Prophet Muhammad? Jesus. Jesus. So those who hold on to the scriptures and the teachings of Jesus are like those who want to still use Windows 2007 and they don't want to upgrade to 2013. Right? They're not up to date. Right? Many of the things that they want to do on the computer will not work unless they do the upgrade. Same thing with Islam. In order for you to worship the Creator properly, yes, Take in mind in consideration the way Jesus used to worship the Creator. He used to worship the Creator the same way that we did here, prostrated. Right? You go to the book of Matthew in the, in the New Testament. It says Jesus went up to the mountain and what did He do? Prostrated. So. Right? So we worship the Lord of Jesus. We don't worship who? Jesus. Jesus. And we believe that that was the message of Jesus. That was what His own disciples believed. So if you look at, off. yeah, if you look at who would know the Prophet best and their messages best? Those who were close with him, those who spent the most time with him every day. Right? When you look into the, the Bible, it says that the disciples of Jesus considered him to be what? A prophet. They didn't consider him to be a God. So we as Muslims, we believe Jesus was one of the what? 
one of the best prophets, one of the best messengers that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to mankind. And he sent the same, he came with the same message as all the previous messengers. Moses, Abraham, David, Solomon, Jacob, Yahya, Suleiman, uh, Ibrahim, Idris, Noah, all of them had one message. What was that one message? Worship Allah. Uh, worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and don't associate any other thing as a partner with him in worship. So that's the message of Al-Islam, right? Al-Islam means to submit to our Creator and worship Him upon His terms. How do we know how to worship that Creator? By our intellect or what? We worship the way we want to worship or no? That's the problem with, our, with some of our friends, our Christian friends. They think they can worship the Creator the way they want to interpret. They don't even worship, they say they're followers of Jesus, but they don't even worship the Creator the same way Jesus did. Right? We have to worship our Creator the way He wants us to worship. Right? If we want to solve any of our problems in our lives, we want to know what's right from wrong, what's wholesome from what is despicable. How do we determine that? By our intellect or by what? Let's say we come our alcohol right some people are going oh alcohol is good for you the doctors say wine is good for you to consume a little bit of wine it removes stress and this and that right right we can differ in that right we can sit here and debate all day one person can say oh wine is good for you another person can say what wine is bad for you muslims what do we do to determine what is the criteria that we refer back to to determine if something is bad or good the pure unadulterated revelation from the Creator. That's how we determine what are good, wholesome things, what are bad, despicable things, right? Yes, alhamdulillah, Allah blessed us with minds and intellects, but there are things that we can't understand. Our brain capacity is deficient. We don't even use, how much of our brain capacity do we use? 10%? Something more. Lower than that, Lower than right? So there's things even about ourselves we don't even know. You can't, we can't explain how the nervous system works in your body, the detailed description, right? You can't explain why your shoulder bone is, is, is shaped the way it is so it can move the way it is, or the muscle fibers in your body, or how your stomach digests certain enzymes and things like that. Just think about thinking about yourself and the intricacy and the precision and accuracy that the Creator created it with is just mind-boggling. So there's always someone who is more knowledgeable than us. And if we're human beings and our ability to think and understand things are deficient, then we need someone who is all knowledgeable. Who is all knowledgeable? Oh. Was the Prophet Muhammad all knowledgeable? No. Was Jesus all knowledgeable? No. Were any of the prophets all knowledgeable? No. no. The only way they knew about things maybe of the unseen was through who? Through oh, Allah, revelation. through revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed us to be Muslims, as those who submit. That's what Islam means. And with submission to the Creator comes about what? Peace. Some people say Islam means peace. No, it doesn't mean peace. But with submission to the Creator, then you find what? Peace. peace. You find real peace. When you submit yourself only to the Creator, the only one who's in charge of your sustenance, the only one who's in charge of your life or death, the only one who's in charge of uh, where you're going to go after you die. Not to the creation, not to a, a imam, or not to a pastor or a priest or, you know, something else from the creation, an uh, idol or things like that. These things can't benefit you or, or harm you at all. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can. So that's why, alhamdulillah, once we realize that, first of all, okay, there is a creator. That's the first thing. When we talk with our neighbors and friends and things like that, that's the first thing that we have to get them to acknowledge. Right? We don't start off talking with them about, hey, you're out drinking alcohol, you're smoking, you're doing drugs, you're doing things like that, you're fornicating. No. That, leave that to the side. Get them, focus them on the main point right now, which will save their souls.